Is that the going price of an honest cop's life these days? You can try, but that wouldn't be smart. Listen, I did not want Russo to die, all right? The guy worked under me since he was a rookie. That's why you couldn't do it yourself. Cowards like you never like to get your hands no, dirty. It wasn't like that, okay? Yeah, I told Langston that Russo was onto him, but I didn't think in a million years that they would kill him. I figured it'd wise up when they dropped a bag of cash at his feet. Like that one? Yeah, who the hell wouldn't take this kind of money? Russo wouldn't. And anyone who knew him as long as you did would know that. So when you called Langston, you knew exactly what would happen. Go for it. If you really think you can grab it and fire before I do, or then use that phone to turn yourself in. Prison's not a great place for ex-cops, but it's better than the alternative. <laughs> you just used up your last bit of goodwill. We know the buyer, Mahmoud, Mason, Marino, or whatever the hell he calls himself, will soon come into possession of 650 shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles, and that he's due to meet with Langston and the New Age engineer to get the Little Wing software chips installed in the hardware. I need to know when and where that meeting's taking place. <laughs> I swear, I'm telling the truth. Langston hired me to keep tabs on Russo and just tell him what he got close, that's it. And I guess we're done here. No, no, wait, wait, stop, stop. Grant would know. Who's Grant? The, the guy you ran over last night. He's dead. He's not. Turn, turn on the news, he's not dead. He's in intensive care in Mount Sinai. Uh... See, being an honest cop isn't that hard. Just ask Russo. Oh, wait, you can't. Four square.